WFMC Sam Barclay joins us with more on what you can expect. Now, this is what you do. You go around to these big eating competitions and you're the MC. I most certainly am and it's an honor to be here right now in West Sacramento, obviously yeah. headed to Elk Grove uh, at 1.30 p.m. this afternoon for the Elk Grove Giant Pumpkin Festival World Pumpkin Pie Eating Championship, the biggest sporting event to take place anywhere in the world. It's taking place in Oak Grove today. Oh, well, wow. Your, your enthusiasm is infectious. Well, I'm, I'm enthusiastic because the top ranked female eater in the world, Mickey Sudo, uh -huh. ranked number five overall. That's men and women combined. Wow. I should point out, wow. she weighs 110 pounds, stands five foot three. Yeah, I think we so have some video of her eating. Yeah. That's incredible. So, where are you from? I was born in Australia, but I'm an American by choice. I currently reside in Miami, Florida. Okay. okay. How did you get into this, being the MC for competitive eating? Have you ever done it before? I have never eaten competitively. I eat a lot recreationally okay. in, in, <laughs> in, in, a, in a civilian capacity, as my wife has often uh, often reminds me. Yeah. Uh, but no, I've never eaten competitively. I, I couldn't hold a candle to Mickey Sudo, who will be eating today, or Jeffrey Esper from Massachusetts, who's competing today, ranked number four in the world, or Gideon Oji, ranked number six in the world, all the way from Zaria in Nigeria. Wow. Oh. Eating today in Elk Grove. What is it like as somebody that's just sitting back and watching an event like this? <laughs> is it like, Ugh. well, I, I often say it's not pretty, but it's beautiful. It's like the paintings of Goya, um, the Spanish master. Some of them are quite difficult to look at. Yeah. The subject matter can be quite, uh, quite large and quite, quite awe-inspiring. And in many ways, major league eating is, is similar to the paintings of Goya. Are people making a career by doing this? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, there's uh, thousands of dollars on the line. Five thousand. Dollars on the line today, two and a half thousand dollars to first place, um, increasingly less down to sixth place. If you finish seventh through fifteenth, you get absolutely nothing. But yes, a lot of people make a lot of money out of this. Do, and do people, you know, some people watching at home might think, oh, I could possibly do this. What's a good test to see if you could be a competitive eater? Well, I think you need to look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself if you have the moral fortitude, not just the physical ability to eat a lot and to eat quickly, but you need to ask, are you willing to push yourself to those limits, much like a marathon runner would, or perhaps a competitive lumberjack might. Do. Um, it's not just a physical skill, it's a mental skill, it's a, it's a test of competitiveness. Um, but obviously a great test is pumpkin pie and Americans test themselves uh, <laughs> recreationally and in a civilian capacity, I should point out. Um, obviously every Thanksgiving when it comes to pumpkin pie and other uh, holiday foods. Yeah. But today you're going to see you know, upwards of 20 pounds of pumpkin pie consumed in oh. eight minutes oh in Elk Grove. Oh my gosh, that's making my stomach hurt just thinking about it. Well you're headed to Elk Grove, the event starts at 1.30 today, 1.30 till 5? One, uh, the, yeah, 1.30 to 5. But the event will be at 1.30 and we'll run through to about 2.15 p.m. So get there early. Uh, the re pumpkin regatta is at noon. If you've never seen the pumpkin regatta, giant pumpkins rode across a lake. That's at wow. noon and we follow at 1.30. So uh, get there and get there early. Yeah, Elk Grove Park. And I apologize for asking you about Prince Harry. I didn't realize you were from Australia. That is <laughs> um, Thank you so much for your time. Impress your neighbor.